हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट नाउ द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज डिओडिनल स्टंप ब्लो आउट सिंड्रोम इन डिओडिनल स्टंप ब्लो आउट एक्चुअली हियर देर इज दिस इज द this is mainly seen following bilroth 2 okay following bilroth 2 we see this uh, duodenal stump blow out bilroth 2 is something like this okay so this end of the duodenum is sutured so this end of the duodenum which is duodenal stump this might leak the food the food or the particles or the contents of this duodenal stump might leak resulting in duodenal stump blow out syndrome actually after doing bilroth 2 gastrectomy if there is massive leakage of the fluids from the duodenal stump then we call it has duodenal stump blow out syndrome this mainly occurs in around 4th to 6th post operative day at around 4th to 6th post operative day the patient might develop of this duodenal blow out stump then the patient with duodenal blow out stump generally does presents with intense thoraco abdominal pain with sudden elevation in the pulse that is tachycardia is seen and there is also increased temperature is seen and slowly the patient will deteriorate because there is um, peritonitis is seen see because whenever there is duodenal stump all the contents of the duodenum and the uh, intestine will empty into the peritoneum resulting in peritoneal reaction and peritonitis and there is general deterioration of the patient is also seen and because of that there is increased pain pain, pain pulse and increased temperature is also seen now how are you going to treat the patient with duodenal stump blow out syndrome a patient with duodenal stump blow out syndrome for him first you will have to do adequate drainage should be done immediately this adequate drainage is done immediately how do you do adequate drainage this is done mainly by putting a catheter through the incision which is put at the below the right coastal margin an incision is put below the right coastal margin and from there you put a catheter and drain the contents from the stomach so if this is the stomach from the right coastal margin here you will put a catheter and you will drain the contents from the stomach then this is one thing then you can also do total parenteral nutrition is initiated to the patient and also and also fluid and electrolyte therapy is given according to the requirement fistula closure the fistula which is formed should be closed within 2 to 3 weeks we should do fistula closure is advised in the patient thank you and thank you for watching